and welcome <laughs> to the Sun and Soul podcast. It's your co-host Ken, aka KG, and I'm Asiatic. Yes, welcome sa bago nyong go-to podcast when it comes to like Filipino in the UK and life in the UK at marami pang iba. So if you like that kind of podcast, please like, share, and subscribe. And yes, who do we have today? Oh, we have, of course, our uh, first guest ever in our podcast, <laughs> Miss Laura Wilson. Yeah. Yes, welcome, Laura. Thank you. Yeah. Hi, guys. <laughs> so she's an aspiring artist, fresh from France. Fresh from France. She just came a few days ago, right? Yep. And we will, we are here to talk about loads of different stuff, about London, about being here, mm-hmm. about being a tourist. And all that good stuff. So, are you ready? I am ready. <laughs> nice. Let's go. <laughs> so, how are you feeling today? Fine. I'm a bit sick. Like, yeah. uh, maybe the, the London weather. Mm, I understand. But, <laughs> yeah, but I have the same weather uh, in my hometown because I, I'm from Normandy. Okay. It's the north of France. Okay. So, that's the same weather, actually. But, uh, yeah, I cough a, a bit. But I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm so happy to be in London. It's yeah. my... Third time here. Okay. Yeah, and um, I love this city, and I'm so excited to to be to be here right now. But I'm leaving in two days already. So we're glad that you are able to come here with us to sit with us and talk about you know things and life. Thank you. I'm happy to be here too. Right. Really. So yeah, uh, Kuya Ace mentioned that you are an aspiring artist. Can you tell us more about? That one? Yeah, well, since I'm a little, little girl, uh, I've always wanted to be an actress, to play, to act uh, professionally. But if I can do that as my job, it's okay. Just as long as I can practice it. Mm-hmm. So I've been in like uh, short movies, okay. uh, local ones from my hometown. Not big movies, you know, but uh, great things, great it's projects. It's getting there, it's getting there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and uh, in video clips too. Okay. For uh, French rapper rappers. Okay. But again, wow. from my hometown. Music videos. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Yeah, it's been a while. <laughs> okay. I was younger. Yes. And uh, you yeah. still look young now. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I try to. <laughs> so yeah, and uh, like for example, the last time I uh, I played, I acted. It was last year during a short uh, film festival not that long ago though yeah yeah because of my current work i don't have time um actually i'm working in a restaurant Mm. gastronomic restaurant Mm. and i work uh about 50 60 hours a week that's a lot that's a lot so i don't have time or energy to do other things besides that's a shame but that work i'm that job uh, I think I'm going to do it like for two years. In, it's already been a year okay. since I'm, I'm here. So when I have time, I like to, to be a part of uh, movies, projects. So normally the other, uh, this year edition festival, like yeah. I said, it's on May, I think. It's called Kino. Kino means cinema in mm-hmm. German. And it's called Kino Caen. Caen, it's my city. C A E N. Basically, yeah. yeah. Caen, yeah. Okay, yeah. It's in Normandy, but basically, uh, it's known, well known for William the Conqueror mm. and, you know, like the D Day in the Second World War. Yeah. Okay. And yeah, that's my hometown. But yeah, Kino Caen, mm-hmm. it's uh, one of the best experiences I've ever, I've ever made. I have, uh, yeah. I have a did. Yeah, it's not easy acting, right? No. It's like similar to what you were saying a while ago. It's like we are also starving artists. Yeah. We have to work other jobs in order true, for true, us to... True. We have like, to pay rent. Yeah. We have to, to <laughs> like, pay food. Exactly. Yeah. But I think when it comes to like the creative side of it, because a lot of us like passionate when it mm. comes to creating and stuff like that, um, do you feel like, you know all the things that you're working at work and do you prepare it like obviously 
you know, when you're doing something creative, even though it doesn't pay as much or something, or mm. when you're still beginning compared to the ones that you're doing like nine to five and stuff like that? Yeah, um, you know, I feel like I'm losing time. Okay. You know, with my current job. I love my job, really, I love it. It's, uh, but uh, it's not for, it's not what I wanted to do yeah. at first. So I'm like, what am I doing? Okay. Even though I like it, really. Because if my chef uh, watching it, I, I love my job, I don't want to <laughs> do it by her. I really like it. But uh, I feel like we don't have enough time for on one life to do everything we want. Yeah. And if I wanted to, to, to do only that, I, I'm probably, I probably still live at my parents' place. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm 28, by the way, I'm 28. So uh, at that age... Yes, she's 28, guys. Yes, I'm 28. <laughs> this girl, this girl. And uh, 29 this year. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, it doesn't... It makes sense in a way for me, but because I have to do that job to, to go to my dream job. Mm. Exactly. Because um, one of my dreams, but we will talk about it, I think, later, yeah. is to, to live in London. So it costs a lot. <laughs> so if I want to maybe one day uh, have the opportunity to come here, uh, I need money. <laughs> so to do my dream job, I have to do that before. And then I hope I will have full time to create, okay. to film, to, you know, meet artists and Definitely. That's like the you. Dream. That's the dream. Like you, maybe. <laughs> yeah. That's the dream. That's the dream. So, yeah. so at the moment you're visiting, visiting London, right? Yeah. How, how is it like? Because you told us it's your third time. Mm -hmm. So obviously you keep coming. Yeah. There's something that keeps, makes you keep coming back. There, there must be something with London. Yeah. That you want. Yeah. What is it? Um, it's definitely the weather, right? Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> the weather, a great sun. Yeah. Woo. Uh, no, no. Uh, I think like uh, Londoners. But okay. when I say Londoners, I mean like oh, other nationalities, of course, okay. too. Uh, the thing I love about that city is the melting pot, mm -hmm. yeah. like a, a true melting pot, a melting pot, like no hypo, uh, hypocrite one, yeah. you know, because in Paris, I don't want to talk shit about <laughs> Paris, but it's Paris. And if you ever been there, okay you know, well, Paris, yeah, let's talk about it. Let's talk about <laughs> French people with a French girl. It's your chance. <laughs> You're French anyway, yeah. so yeah. you have the right to talk yeah. shit about Paris. Yeah. Talk your ish, man. Yeah, that's my time. Uh, actually, I, I lived in Paris uh, just for one year, but I've never liked that, uh, that city a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, because, uh, you know what we, we say, like, uh, Parisians are like uh, mean people. That's not true. That's not true. Okay, disclaimer. But, <laughs> yeah, but that's not a welcoming space, welcoming place. Okay. Uh, that welcome, you know, like in London, for example, uh, the uh, the first day uh, I was here, like uh, three days ago, I took the tube. Yeah. Mm -hmm. At least three or four different people in one hour just let me pass. Okay. I was like, what is it? Mm -hmm. Oh, like a gentleman. A distinguished gentleman. <laughs> oh, I was like, well, you know, like, very you. Englishman. Like yeah, the English. And I was and like, everything. oh, that's nice. Yeah. That, 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 that was my first experience when I came here three days ago. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Even if I, I already came here by the, the past, but I was like, okay, cool. Uh, you are educated, man. You are yeah. nice. And uh, it, it was like, uh, it warmed my, mm -hmm. my heart a okay. bit. I was yeah. like, oh. That's nice. In, uh, like, for example, when you want to, to enter the, the, wag the wagon, yeah. people in Paris, they just rush in it. Okay. Really? Just, they, they do not let uh, get out the, the other people. It's like, we, we have to, yeah. to be first. And, uh, it's like there's an unspoken rule already that you must let the people out first before you yeah. enter, isn't it? That's normal. So, because how can you um, enter, enter if or the people out? are... <laughs> Yeah, exactly. by the door, isn't it? But obviously, that that's not the main reasons why I love London. But that's an example. Yeah. If I have to illustrate yeah. it, uh, that's an example. Yeah. And yeah, you know, like there are so many different cultures 
But I feel, you will tell me later if you feel the same mm -hmm. as Filipinos, but I feel like those cultures are quite respected. Those what, sorry? The, the cultures, the okay, different yeah, cultures yeah. here are welcomed mm -hmm. and respected. Maybe. Maybe I overestimate that big city because I've already been there like for, you know, vacation time. Okay. When you live here, I feel like it's different, yes, obviously, when you work here, live here. Mm -hmm. But uh, as a tourist, because I am still a tourist for now, mm -hmm. uh, I feel like, yeah, cool. Indian culture, Asian culture, African culture. I feel yeah. like everyone is together. But yeah. again, maybe that's the image I have of it. Yeah, that's your perspective. Yes. I mean, Katie, she's been here for three years, Going right? Three years this July. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So how about you? What's your experience when it comes to the Londoners? The people from London. Yeah, I really like London as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah I love it. Like uh, because I've been in Saudi before, Saudi Arabia, which is okay. a very restrictive country. Uh, personally, I didn't really like it. Okay, I'm not gonna talk shit about Saudi <laughs> now, but no let's leave shit, it. Bro. Yeah, no, let's leave it at that. Let's leave it at that. Uh, as a woman, you know, you have to wear a baya yeah. when going out because I lived in Riyadh, the okay. center. Okay. Is that stricter, more stricter yes. place? The when king comes is there, the, the former king, the strict one okay. who has passed away before. So, yeah, it's a very strict country. And then I went back to the Philippines, did some trainings, and then I came to London. So, yeah, regarding the culture acceptance, I guess I was just lucky because I, I'm a nurse. Okay. So, I work with uh, fellow Filipino nurses okay. as well. So, uh, I feel welcomed already okay so yeah that's my the environment i um, mm. came here with okay yeah that was a good a good start for mm -hmm. you that's a good yeah. start for me so yeah. i feel welcomed already yeah like there's a community as well yeah and then i found the the filipino rappers community as well yeah. so yeah that's the thing that's good that's yeah good. Mm -hmm. so at least it's like you guys have good experiences yeah, when it comes sure. to london so yeah. Guys from London, keep it up, man. Keep, <laughs> keep being nice to tourists and immigrants like yeah. us. You know what I mean? So we can make this really a good country. Yeah, you're doing you a know? good job. Thank you for that. <laughs> exactly. So you said, uh, you know, being a visitor, you feel like you're really accepted mm. and you feel like it's a proper melting pot when yeah. it comes to culture. How about your like favorites, like things that you like to do when you're here, stuff like that? Mostly, I love to meet new people. Yeah. So, uh, unfortunately, when you want to meet new people, you have to go to pubs. <laughs> so, <laughs> I love pubs. Yeah. That's, okay. I'm French, like I'm a cliche on two legs, you know, like yeah. uh, I love, you know, like uh, have a drink, uh, have a drink with uh, my friends in, in France. Yeah. Uh, but here, uh, when I'm on my own, I do it anyway. Yeah. Like, uh, just grab a, a pint and I'm like, hey, I'm open to, to talk with you. Yeah. So that's, the, that's not the thing I love to do. I, do, yeah. I don't do it every day. Obviously. It's what you need to do, isn't yes, it? Yes, I need to, to yeah. connect with people. I need to, to, to share experiences, to mm -hmm. hear from them. Uh, are there Londoners? Are there tourists like me? Yeah. And yeah, that's what I want to do when I go to a different country, okay. especially in London. But mm. in London, I feel like home. I'm not stressed oh. at all. Yeah. Oh, like, no. uh, that's, nice. that's really good. But again, that's because I think I, I dream about living here. Yeah. So I'm like a little girl, you know, like, ah, everything discovering everything again. <laughs> like, oh my God, I love this city. I love you. I love you. <laughs> you're amazing. I love you, no, stranger. You're amazing. <laughs> when you are smiling to people, people are smiling back, yeah, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. So, so Obviously, it's a great experience for me. Yeah. How about for the people who don't go to pubs, like me? Um, <laughs> go to parks yeah. with a dog? Yeah. Oh, no. I oh. think that's like one way for me to like meet people. Mm. Most of the people that I meet is towards so like when I go <laughs> yeah. in the park with Scotty. Yeah. So I meet a lot of people that way. I go to a lot of like, you know, uh, markets mm. and then mingle there and stuff like that. Yeah. Because originally I'm like very shy person when it comes to like approaching people mm. and talking and and I think a lot of people nowadays because mm. because of internet and yeah, stuff like sure. that a lot of people are like do you think it's more easy or more easy to approach people 
personally like that or nowadays it's not too much? Since I came here, it's been, uh, it was six years ago, I feel like it's more complicated. You feel so? Yes, yeah. in six years. I feel like, it's, yeah, uh, well, I, I, I went to a pub two days ago. Okay. Uh, I, I didn't meet anyone, mm -hmm. but I was on my own, like, you know, not on my phone. I was like, I'm here. Yeah. But maybe they were like... You're oh. open for the conversation to come. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, yeah. maybe I was not in the right place, yeah. but it could be, yeah. maybe as a girl, uh, because, oh, there is a thing too. Uh, I feel like uh, English men, English boys, are a bit more educated than French boys. Oh, okay. I feel less. Uh, I feel more feel more safe here yes. than in Paris, for okay. example. Yes, yeah, yes. So maybe there is a a thing about you know when when there is a woman alone in a pub, you don't go to her. Mm. It could be uncomfortable for her if she wants to talk she yeah. she just come but the the men won't come okay. that's what i feel but not every time yeah. but that's what i feel that's what i felt two days ago yeah, as a woman you don't really just come to a person is it i could but to uh, oh, maybe a, a group of girls a bunch okay, of girls yeah, yeah. Sure. it's more easy much more safe for me sure, yeah. but you just watch people like do 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 you feel nice, you feel, oh, you feel weird. You're just uh, vibing there. Yeah, you're <laughs> creepy, no, I won't. Uh, but yeah, uh, and I don't know, because uh, I, I remember a boy was looking like, at me yeah. like, uh, she wants to talk maybe, but I won't do the first move. Yeah. Just for, I was like, oh, I won't do it neither. Yeah. So maybe um, the easier uh, way to do it, you have to, I don't know, like to sign in um, a website uh, specialized in meeting people, people in a new... Like that, yeah. Yeah. So you feel like a little bit like people nowadays, especially like English boys are a bit conservative rather I than like... Maybe, maybe. How about you, KG? How do you meet people? Hmm. Do you go to pubs? I really don't <laughs> go to pubs usually. Uh, yeah, I guess I'm a bit reserved as well. Yeah. Okay. That's my uh, innate personality. Mm. Yeah. So how do I meet people? I go to coffee shops. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. you talk to the barista. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> give me, <laughs> give me some cappuccino. Some uh, free discount. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't uh, charge the oat milk, please. <laughs> or something. Uh, yeah. In my old because I just moved here closer in central, like November last year. Okay. okay. Yeah. So I lived in Oxbridge before. It's a in the northwestern part okay. of London. So now you're in Central? Yeah, I mean, uh, no, I'm in uh, Southeast. So I moved from Northwest to Southeast. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's a big move Yeah. still, by the way. It, but I'm still within London. London is so large. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think it's the largest city in the world. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, or I heard that. You felt that. <laughs> no, no, I heard it. Oh, really? Yes. Like okay. geographic? Yeah. See, I live here, Extended. but I don't know that. So let's check that out. That could be a fun yeah, fact. Yeah, yeah, okay. You know? So yeah. Um, uh, in my old um, village, it's called uh, Harefield, but there's no hares there. <laughs> there's no bunnies. It's just yeah. called Harefield. So, uh, yeah, I know the peri-peri guys there, yeah. <laughs> the chicken shop boys. Yeah. I know the uh, co do. <laughs> coffee shop um, men, also the co-op, the local um, yeah. grocery store. Mm. So, yeah, uh, if you frequently go to those places, you know, you have some familiar faces already. Yeah. That's how uh, I've met them. Okay, cool. And now they're sad because I w I'm not there anymore. Oh. <laughs> but I said goodbye to them. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. So uh, planning to visit soon again. Okay. Let's cool. see. Yeah. I think it's like that as well, right? When you go to somewhere regular, yes, mm. and then you get to see them every time, yeah. then you can get you feel at ease and yeah. feel like okay, maybe I can talk to them. Cause like for example, in my work, I work in the market. I don't normally talk to a lot of other vendors as mm. well. You know, I just do my job, set up sell and then go but a lot of people kind of like gravitate towards my stall in a way and then they're like oh hi and then you're like you have no choice to say hi no back choice. Yeah. You know I mean? like, even I'm if like you that, don't want to I, I, I'm like that guys huh? I don't really talk to someone unless I'm like needed yeah or being approached or something yeah. like that mm. so from what you're saying a while ago when it comes to you're you're in the pub mm. and then no one's approaching mm. you 
I guess like I'm one of those guys that feel <laughs> that, True. you know. Oh, even though I la- like or I like to make a conversation with someone, I feel like, you know, a bit scared in a way or maybe like you reserve mm. to just like Um, hey, hey, hey. I'm not the, yeah, that kind like of person, that. you know, yeah. I, I'm so uh, open to people yeah. and sometimes it's complicated. Yeah. It's a bit frustrating, yes. though, frustrating even though, yeah. So apart from like going to the pub? Yeah, yeah. I don't do that <laughs> all the time. Every time, guys, yeah. <laughs> so, so apart from that, what are like the things that you come to London for to do that you normally like doing here when you're here? Well, I... Um, The thing is, uh, at first, when I was a teenager, I was so into London and English culture because of mm-hmm. rock and roll, because of the Beatles. Oh, yeah. That's, That's my favorite band of all time. Nice. And uh, I love, like, Beatles. rock and roll history. Okay. So London is the, the place in the world to, to get to, to, to know everything about it. So maybe doing, like, rock and roll tours. tours yeah. yeah. Uh, or museums because uh, my Ooh, passion is art. Yes, yeah. I've been to for my for the first time yesterday. I've been to British Museum. Oh, okay. It's It's British, huge. British Museum. British, <laughs> British, British, British. Yeah. Yeah. Without the T. Like that, yeah, right? British, British Museum, yeah. and uh, that, that was, was cool. That's a lot to explore in one yeah. day. Ah, uh, I oh. only had one hour. Oh, no. I was no. like, oh, oh, it closes. Oh, okay. <laughs> so let's do it. The um yeah. yeah I, How was I the queue well. yesterday? How was the queue? Oh no, it's a, it w- oh. that wasn't queue. No, no, no. There's no queue. Yeah. Yeah. I think yeah. I went on a weekend before. Oh, you've yeah. been there as well. Yeah, before. I've been to lots of the free museums. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah because it's free. Yeah, I, I think that's that. one good thing about the museums here yeah. and like attractions. Mm. Um, most of them are free. Yeah, fortunately. So uh, guys, London is very expensive place, mm-hmm. but. Once you get your ticket, your hotel and stuff like that, there's a lot yeah. of things that you can yeah. do for free. Maybe one time we we will do a podcast yeah. about that. So mm. for people like coming here and stuff yeah. like that. So I didn't know about the British Museum mm-hmm. that it was free. Yeah. Like you know, you have uh, you have exhibitions that cost a lot, but the the permanent one, mm-hmm. it's free. So that's really cool. How about you? What you said you've been to a lot of museums. Yeah. Which one do you like? My favorite is the V&A. Victoria okay, and Victoria Albert. And Albert. Oh. Yeah. It's around like um, West London. Yeah. Buckingham Palace side. or? Oh, it's near, yeah. It's, it's yeah. near Buckingham Palace, yeah. I think. It's I love near, it. You have like the Science Museum. I've been there museum. twice. <laughs> yeah. yeah. VMA is near the Science Museum as yeah, well, right? It's so. a walking distance from yeah. Science Museum, but I've never been to Science Museum. Oh, so you I'm should planning look. Because it's near. Yeah, next time maybe. That's my favorite one. I also, I, I've been to Tate Museum twice, Tate Modern. Okay. Mm. It's always, uh, there's always something new. Yeah, they change their yeah. the exhibition. Every single time I go there, it's like, is this really the Tate I went to? Yeah. <laughs> it looks different. Yeah. So I liked it as well. I, although I don't really get modern art at times, yeah. like, there's like a cloth on the floor. What is that? Yeah. <laughs> What is no, that? The, ja- the janitor just left it there. Yeah, they maybe. <laughs> There's no labels. Yeah. <laughs> People are flocking around. Yeah. <laughs> what, what Taking is, pictures wow. of it. Yeah. Wow. yeah, it's just like, I don't get it, but it's fascinating. Yeah. I really like that. You do remember? We've, um, I'm sure we've been there together yeah, six it's, years ago. Uh, actually, it's my favorite. Tate Modern. Tate, Tate yeah. Modern. It's along it's the actually, Thames. Yeah, it's along the yeah, Thames. And it's there. just like walking distance. Mm. Actually, my daughter's school is just behind. Cool. So um, most of them are like into that kind of mm. art. And um, my daughter's school is supported by Tate Modern, oh, so uh, yes. shout out to them. So it's very artistic school, as you can see. I don't know if you saw my daughter drawing Drawings, and stuff like yeah. that. So they specialize a lot when it comes to art, that mm-hmm. school. They prioritize it. But yeah, I like Tate Modern. I also like, um, my favorite one is the National Gallery. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And Trafalgar. Yeah, and Trafalgar, yeah. yeah. So uh, I've been there a lot because... Um, I like drawing, design, and mm. painting. So uh, that's like one of my favorite. Yeah, and, and the, the whale bone on the top. Yeah. And you can see Charles Darwin <laughs> when exactly. you enter. Yeah. 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 I, I haven't been the statue. Yeah. Yeah. I've never been there. It's you really should go there. It's like uh, nice paintings, like different, obviously, artists. You got yeah. Monet there, you different know, periods. Picasso, different periods. Eras. Yeah. And it's near the center, so it's like after you finish, you can just go to Chinatown. Mm-hmm. You know, eat pastries. <laughs> yeah, eat pastries and stuff and, like that. And uh, is it free? 
Yes. yes. Cool. Otherwise, I wouldn't like it. <laughs> okay. There's some dinosaur bones, bones of no? other animals. I love yeah. dinosaurs. There's also a room there. I'm not sure if it's still there. It's a like a history of cameras. Okay. 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 So yeah, if you are into photography, yeah. Yeah. you can go in that room. Nice. It's really nice. Thank you. Yeah. I definitely go there. Go there. Yeah, so honestly, guys, like there's a lot of free mm -hmm. things to do in uh, London. Mm. Like I said, it's a very expensive um, city, but <laughs> there's so many things if you know where to look. Yeah. So, yeah, so all of us agree that London is quite nice when it's visiting and stuff like that. Yeah. How about living here? Living here, oh, That's I could you... say it's, uh, it's really expensive. Yeah. Like um, most of the people I've met, they said that uh, about half of their salary goes to the rent mm. and the uh, living expenses. Mm -hmm. But anyway, if you can, you know, it's just a ma matter of um, making a budget, actually. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. you don't and have a living within your means. Yeah. But uh, with the free things that you can do, even just going to the uh, parks, it's a, re it's a really nice uh, experience to live in here. So, so far, I'm liking it. I had no plans of moving. <laughs> nice. Wow. Yeah. yeah. So, and uh, anyway, if you can make another, like, a source of income as well, mm. like doing the things you love, that's, yeah. uh, that's better, isn't mm. it? Yeah. Yeah. So, I really like it here. <laughs> cool. Actually, that's a good idea for a podcast. Maybe yeah. next time we can do, like, ways to save living in London yeah, sure, or something sure. like that. Things that you can do and able to I can do a survey as well. <laughs> yeah, we can I'm do that. That yeah, yeah, yeah. That we can Truly. do that one. So yeah, cool. For example, like just simple cooking at home instead mm -hmm. of going out yeah. every time, things like that. That will be probably a good help for someone who's watching. Yeah, stuff like that. So yeah, what are like the unique experiences that you um, come across in London that you don't really see in in your country? Do you have any? You know, like friendly people. Yeah. Like just before, uh, because I I'm going to cook for them later. Yes. So I, to that. yeah, <laughs> uh, uh, it's a Greek recipe. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, I had to buy, you know, like uh, a chicken, etc. So I've been to Sainsbury. Yeah. Just just before, yeah. I met two people. Okay. We talked about friends. We yeah. talked about like where where you, where you where do you come from? I come from France. I love London. What what are you doing here? visiting a friend, I dreamed about living here. And they were like, we would love you to come here. What, what, <laughs> why, why not? Why not yeah. now? I was like, oh, I can't now, I know. But you know, just friendly people. Mm -hmm. that's, that's what I love here. Yeah. And my best experience so far, it's, again, it's my third time here. Uh, it's, it's a bit cheesy, but it's meeting you because Me? yeah, yeah, because because, so because <laughs> bring the tissues. Wait, there's no, a tissue. Because, <laughs> because uh, I, I'll, I'll explain it. It's because uh, you know couch surfing the website. Oh, yes, it's yeah. uh, basically it's a website. You when you want to to visit a, a new country, a new city, you yeah. just register. Uh, it's free, and you ask locals if you can sleep at their place, but for free. Yeah. So when I came to London the second time. I tried that and I asked Ace, I didn't know him, mm -hmm. like, can I sleep at your place? Uh, you know? He was like, yeah, great, yeah, you can. And he, he didn't, uh, you know, like just host, in, host me, he showed me his London uh -huh. with his eyes. Yeah, his perspective. Yes, mm -hmm. and I was, like, I was supposed to be on my own all, the, all week, mm -hmm. but I was with, with him, he got time for me. And he showed me like Tate Modern, uh -huh. uh, many, many other things, but it was like, wow, okay, okay, thanks for that. Yeah. And uh, six, year, six years later, yeah, I'm back. here again. <laughs> so and we've been friends ever since. Yeah, we kept in touch. We kept in touch. And yeah. This is not as sponsored by um, Couchsurfing. By the no, 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 <laughs> but why not? <laughs> yeah, yeah. But if you guys want to sponsor us, it's good. So basically, Couchsurfing is a place where you, it's an app mm -hmm. where you can like ask people if you can stay with them. Because, yeah. 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 So what I did before, I know before I want to meet people. Mm -hmm. And then I said, okay, let me go Couchsurfing. Because I know a lot of people want to go to London, but 
they don't have the means or it's hard for them because you know like the prices it's not easy mm. and same time i was thinking because i love to travel mm -hmm. and i was thinking like okay if i do couch surfing maybe in return they can host me sure. yep. in uh, other countries. places yeah mm. so i've been to like six different country before that i only have 60 pounds i visited like six different 60 countries yeah, and then slept on other people's houses That's like true. from austria i've been to um, poland i've been to bratislava um, czech republic stuff like that just like roaming around and like only have 60 pounds <laughs> that's also included like my bus fare and yeah, everything sure. and i i lived that's like one of my best experience so uh yeah traveling i advise you guys like mm. be open be you know be yeah. brave i want yeah. to do that as well yeah. maybe if i can get a, a longer annual leave mm. from yeah. work yeah. Mm -mm. oh yeah that's nice though and it's a i think it's a better experience as well Rather yeah. than you staying in a hotel by yeah. yourself, isn't it? Yeah. Gets a bit lonely. It's really. At yeah. least you're in someone's home. Yeah. It's a house. Yeah, and I, I don't really like, like, you know, even if I've been to British Museum <laughs> yesterday, but I don't really like touristic places, Same, crowded yeah. places. Exactly. So thanks to Ace, uh, I managed to, to visit mm -hmm. locals' places, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. you know, where they take their coffee, where they eat, mm -hmm. where they go party or just having a stroll and that was good. Because I also like that um, when I'm traveling, I also like, you know, meeting people, the locals. Mm. And then I immediately, the first thing that I do when I travel is like go to the local market mm. or local um, food place where they shop and I want yeah. to know what they eat there, what kind of things that they get up to yeah. and people watch. And I think that's the best way to learn other culture. Mm, definitely. And I have cool. like, funny, I have a friend that um, I'm not going to say their name. They went to Mexico, right? For like, I think three weeks, four weeks. And then I asked them like, so what did you guys do in um, thing, um, Mexico? Oh, we have a nice hotel, you know, everything is included and stuff like that. And they stayed, I think, for the whole two weeks or it's only one week that they explored or not even, for two weeks, just in the hotel. Oh, that's a shame. Enjoying the, you know, the resort, everything is included and stuff <laughs> like that. For me, that's, like, no disrespect. Like, a lot of people, like, want to, if that's your kind of holiday, why yeah. not? Yeah, right? but you don't have to go that far away <laughs> to experience that. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, it costs a lot, in, uh, I guess. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, so it's like, a lot of people have different ways to travel. Yeah. And I think that's one thing that we can also explore next time. Mm. Yeah. So, best experience in London is... Meeting <laughs> Yeah, like, I know, but, you know, like, going through the streets with you, like, oh, you know that, you know what, no, true, yeah. let's it's go like, there. It's like a trial already if you um, wanted to be a Londoner, yeah. basically. Yeah. yeah. That, actually, that, that was that experience who who like, I was like, okay, I think I want to live here. It's thanks to that experience. Okay. And oh, of, obviously I love gigs, mm -hmm. I love concerts, and that's the right place yeah. to, to, oh, to experience that. Oh, loads of artists that go yeah. all over the world. That's my thing, like I, that. I love that kind of stuff. Yeah. yeah. And the thing is as well, when I try to like um, have visitors, mm -hmm. I try to make time and try to do things that I know it's not very touristic. Mm. So I'm trying to like introduce them to things that, you know, I don't really go to Central that much and stuff like mm. that. I want to show them like the different parts of London yeah. and stuff like that. Where yeah. people live. Yeah, Where exactly. People, yeah, Because yeah. normally like a normal person or a person that is local, they won't be doing all their shopping in Central or yeah. then they, they will do it in their local yeah. boroughs and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah. yeah. So how about like worse experiences? Do you have any? Uh, as I said to you before we recorded, uh, I so far I, I don't have any. That's really good for you. Yeah, <laughs> so far, yeah, but yeah, yeah. again, it's just my third time here. Yeah. And every time I go here, it's for less than a week. Yeah. So no, 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 I don't have any That's bad good. experience. Yeah. You're not exposed yet to that. Um, <laughs> part of like that face of London you know yeah but that's good at least you know yeah but again maybe it's because I have a, a happy energy when I came here when yeah. I come here it's true as well always yeah. smiling yeah so happy so exciting to be here so 
even if I meet uh, angry people or grumpy people, I don't see them. You make I'm them like, smile. Oh, it's okay. I, I will smile for two. And, uh, yeah. and <laughs> smile too. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. No, no, really. That's I'm it. more myself here that, than in my hometown. Okay. Really. Mm. So, that's good. She brings the sunshine to yes, people and make true. them smile. Sun and soul. We need the yeah, sunshine. Yeah, that's it. Sun and soul. Uh, <laughs> that's that's uh, yeah. How about you? Do you have any? Maybe at work, but I'm not yeah. sure if I can, if I want to delve into that. Yeah. But uh, living in London in general, no, not really. I don't have like. Yeah. No, wow, these guys, man, like they, everything yeah. is good in London. What's <laughs> happening here? This is not London. <laughs> no, this is not the I'm London sure I know. Dig, if we dig a bit, Deeper. we can, we, we can yeah. find some. Don't be shy, guys. Tell everything. Yeah. <laughs> so, no, yeah, living in London, I've explored my inner self. I can say that. Yeah. I'm not sure if it's because I'm uh, matured already when I came here, mm-hmm. or uh, it's just part of growing up as well. Yeah. Like, Sorry, can I know your age? Oh uh, yeah, sure. I'm 32. Okay, 28, 32, 32. prehistoric <laughs> dinosaur. Con- confidential. <laughs> I love dinosaurs. You should be in a museum. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's why I'm not saying. I'll, I'll be like the. Like I'll be the bones Jones, hanging there. <laughs> it's just Indiana Jones quotes. Oh my god! No. Yeah, yeah. I so what? The, oh. It's too old to mention. The, the camera will break if I say my age. <laughs> So if you have like a friend, guys, if you guys have a friend saying, okay, Laura, um, I want to go to London. You've been to London. Is there anything that you want to recommend to us? Like things that you want to recommend to your friend? Uh, Going to the pub, obviously. No! (laughs) Yeah, but before, you have to do interesting things, you know, like uh, artistic things. Uh, I would recommend them to find... Uh, little exhibitions, okay. you know, from local yeah. artists. Yeah. Not, you know, like take more than that's great places, obviously, but maybe find free uh, local exhibitions. Mm-hmm. Um, maybe have a have a walk in a park, Hyde or Regent's Park. I don't, I don't know, but it's better when it's warmer, mm-hmm. like yeah. I did uh, the last time I came here. I just grabbed a book and I was sitting in, in, on the grass and reading Jules Verne. Okay. That's, that was like a romantic way of exploring London. Like, and my nice. book and yeah, maybe I will find the love of my life later. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll see. And uh, no, no, you know, like, it, it, that's my French like, side, yeah, you know. Yeah, like, that sounds like yeah. a hopeless it's like romantic. like a hopeless romantic. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, I, really, um, I like living my life like I'm the hero um, of my own movie. Yeah, or you're in a fairy tale kind of yeah, movie. Yeah, sometimes it's a drama. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Most of the time, actually. But you're but, the leading actress yes, on, on that film. Yes, if I can manage to, to be a real actress, I can be at least my own life actress. Yeah. <laughs> you know? yeah. Me, main character. That's it. That's it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah, maybe I'll have a stroll. And then... Uh, Go find uh, a nice restaurant, to, not too much, not too expensive. Yeah. But you don't have to find like you know proper English restaurant. Mm-hmm. You have so many cultures to 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 discover here. Mm-hmm. So I would go to Chinatown, mm-hmm. maybe, yes. and then go to the pub. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, one thing I like about here, though, um, because you know I've been to the Philippines, Saudi. Most of uh, these countries are just. Uh, it's not like a melting pot as um, as in London or the UK. Yeah. Yeah. So in here, I've tried African food. I yeah. will never have uh, done that back home and in Saudi. Yeah. I've also tried, uh, well, Chinese is a very uh, yeah. common. common. Uh, but yeah, I've tried the more authentic ones. Mm. Because we have a local, uh, what's this, shop, Chinese shop okay. where I live uh, right now. Uh, so yeah, uh, tr- because I love uh, exploring food as well, so I've tried Greek, so yeah, that's nice. one of the things I like as cool. well. Yeah. Same, same. Do you think like um, living here, like you said, k- makes you explore different food, mm-hmm. your, you know, different culture cultures and stuff like that? Cultures as well, yeah. yeah. And the slangs as well. 
like a uh, wagwan. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what wagwan is before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wagwan. Yeah. Wag- I think it's a, yeah, it's like... Like some slang words and stuff like okay. that. Okay. It's yeah. their way of saying what's up. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Wagwan. In, in, in English, like... Uh, Is it in English or just a lot of... Mostly it's like a street, um, street slang yeah. words. But proper to English people? Um, Londoner people? Mainly Londoners, yeah. yeah, yeah so yeah, I think yeah, it yeah, came yeah, from yeah, a Jamaican... Can you repeat it? I Wag one. Wag one, bro? Wag one. Right, bro? Wag one. It's like, yeah. what's up? Like, how Wag are one. you? Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, exactly, great. Exactly, yeah. By I, the way, thank you yesterday. Yesterday was my first time to eat French food. Uh, we went to a French yeah. restaurant and um, yeah. yeah, how thank was you, it? Laura. How was it? It was nice, but uh, is it legit? <laughs> yeah, but no, not not quite. I of think. Of course. Yeah. yeah, it was good. Yeah. But it don't it doesn't represent mm. the French food. I I think so. Yeah. yeah. And that's what I tell told to my to, to my mother just before. Yeah. She was like, oh, how was the restaurant? Did ate uh, like the the French food? But I was like, no, but that's not French food. Yeah. It was Scottish salmon. Oh, it yeah. was noodles with mushrooms. Yes. You can do that in any culture. Yeah. And I was like, okay. I was the only one who took, uh, you know, like bœuf bourguignon. Yeah. And that's French. But we, if you come to my hometown, I will cook for you. <laughs> like real French food, yes. you know. That's what they say, though. If you want to try uh, the legit food, yeah. you have to go in someone's house. Yeah. 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 And you are most welcome too, if oh, you yeah. want. Yeah. Okay, looking yeah. forward to that. <laughs> yeah. But I still have my uh, Philippine passport, so it's not very strong. Oh, I need to right. apply for visa, visa as yeah. well. So yeah, maybe one day. Yeah. Why not? yeah. That'd be good. Yeah. Yeah, because I'm planning to, it's been a long time she's been inviting me oh. there. So. Yeah, find the time. Yeah. Cool. How about you? Do you have any recommendations for like if you have some friends coming over, what things to do in London and stuff like that? I would say mostly maybe if uh, if we have not had a plan or itinerary, I'll just take them to central London. Mm, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, the thing is maybe they will like the uh, the top floor of the bus. That's an experience. Yes. Well. Okay, yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Back in the days when I was young, when um yeah that's back in 50 the years ago okay. <laughs> <laughs> when i go to school and then get the bus we always like to go on top yes because we don't you have know. that in the philippines yeah, yeah. and it's yeah. nice to we like see it everything friends. it's like you feel like you're the driver as well if you're yeah. in the front door yeah, yeah. isn't it yeah because yeah. yesterday as well you mentioned <laughs> that you went to the big ben yeah yeah mm. yeah because uh, last time i came to london it was in uh in renovation Okay. So I couldn't see yeah. it. I yeah, will. you know, it was all packed. Uh, yeah. You know? And oh, I just, I, I think I spent uh, like 20 minutes just staring at it. Just staring at it. I was like, oh, you're so beautiful. <laughs> I think like any tourist looking at the Eiffel Tower, yeah. I was like, oh my God. I've, or, I've only seen you in movies, in, yeah. in you know, in series. And, oh, True. Oh, it represents uh, London for me. Yeah, the big uh, like the architecture uh, in London, and I'm like, okay, so yeah, it was good. Yeah. It was when good. when you're young in Philippines, do you have like movies that you see that oh, it's London, yeah, like oh, yes, I wanna... of course, uh, mainly some American romantic comedy mm. movies. Okay. setting is in uh, France, in Paris. Oh. So yeah, uh, I think fa- Paris is very. Uh, ar- romanticized country mm. but the people um, who has gone there I, I spoke to my um, current manager like we just you know talk about things and stuff and then she said oh I've been to Paris it's not really good <laughs> <laughs> that's what she said oh sorry yeah. that's what she said because we uh, there's a, we have a patient who just went there so we talked about that yeah. stuff as well okay so she said uh, if you're planning to go there don't go in um, the Eiffel Tower because there's no. lots of people around you can't even take a good yeah. picture mm. I wouldn't recommend That's it what she said. I wouldn't recommend it yeah. no really but yeah and it's uh, people there are so speed you know Uh, in London too in many big cities too but that's not the same Mm -hmm. you can be speed and educated and polite Mm -hmm. I feel like in Paris it's not the same but yeah Yeah, it's nice to know that uh, you have this yeah, know, yeah, yeah. point of view. I have, I definitely, um, yeah. I, I've lived there, um, but when you live there, you 
in like in any cities you 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 just have habits you know places you used to go uh, with your friends so mm. it feels it feels nice but when you visiting it it's a yeah. people like because oh. I'm sorry to say that as well I think um, I talked to you about when I mm. went to Paris as well it's not a good experience for me mm. even though I saw my friend there and mm. then I'm happy to see her and stuff like that uh, we did some stuff but I felt like it's not a, the reception is a bit different when you meet people there yeah. you know what I mean plus mm. like um, yeah it's not it's not I, I felt like I was not received like you know not very welcoming even like when it terms um, asking people for directions yes um, even for like going you. yeah they don't want like you know they're surprised you are asking asking and stuff like that yes you know I think because I, I, I read that before and then I did try to uh, learn basic French just so to be polite mm -hmm. um, but still a lot of people are like you know um, a bit mean yeah. and um didn't help sorry me. for that <laughs> no. you know when i came in london the last time i was i, I love bringing maps you know like papers the big ones. Yeah, yeah maps uh just to avoid uh applications and phone but it, it can be useful <laughs> <laughs> and uh, i was i was with my map looking for uh, your place yeah i wasn't far away from here it was like uh, you know a bit lost and i think uh, you can tell on my face. I, I was lost. Yes. And, you uh, have the lost face. Yes, like... <laughs> and uh, yeah, and three guys, three, three young guys, oh, yeah. they approached me. The other young French girl, I was like, oh, what do they want? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. And, uh, and they were like, are you lost, girl? I was like, yeah. What are you looking for? That, uh, you know, the, I won't say Ace Street, the, your street. So, oh, it's just here. Look, and you have a map. That's so funny. And he talks. <laughs> and uh, when I go, you have oh, a map. You can't nice. read it. <laughs> you don't want to murder me. You're really nice, actually. And they, I didn't have to ask directions. They just helped me, like yes. naturally helped me. And they were they were Spanish. I remember. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, I can recall. So there's something about this place that make everyone nice, even yeah. though they're not from here. <laughs> yeah, that's good. That's nice. Yeah. Obviously, we can hear that you have an accent and you can hear us. Yeah. yeah. What do you think about accents? Especially your one, French, is also always regard as the Romantic. sexy, sexy yeah. accent <laughs> language. I hate true. my accent. But it, it, you know what? It depends. Uh, sometimes I, I feel like I have a great accent. Mm -hmm. uh, mostly when I talk to... Uh, you know, people who were born in England or in America. Okay. I don't. Uh, I I do the um, the effort, but when I come to talk with people like us, uh, who has we already have a, a, a culture. Yes. Mm -hmm. I feel like oh, I can, I can relax, relax. and I can have a a, a different accent. Yeah. But sometimes I I used to talk like that. But sometimes I used to talk like that, you know, and like I'm lazy. <laughs> and I go, okay, cool, we can talk. And I don't like to to be, you know, like uh, recognized as a French. Okay. When when people tell me, oh, I can tell you French. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yes. Why is that? You change your accent a little I bit, don't or know you why. hide it? Because why is it? Are you ashamed I, 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 or? I, not ashamed, but I was, I used to, to do like language, um, language studies just okay. for a year or two. And I, wo I was always fond in uh, English classes. Mm -hmm. When I was younger, I was one of the best students. So that's my thing. I love that. Okay. So if I, actually, I can speak with a good accent, mm -hmm. but I don't know. I'm like, oh, pff, if I don't have to. I won't. Yeah. Uh, I'm a bit tired now. It's a bit exhausting, right? Yeah, it, it is. It, it is yeah. exhausting. It is you have to be focused yeah. on what you are saying True. and how you you say it. Yeah, you pronounce so, every word and stuff. Yeah. Like that. yeah. Oh. It's so thank issue. you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how about you? Do you have you tried changing your accent or um, you always? Yes, ex especially because I worked in a nursing home. You know, okay. the old people. Oh. They could understand you better if you speak in their accent. 
So I was, uh, let's say, I I was faking it. Yeah. Like, do you want a bottle of water? Yeah, a bottle of water. Instead of just my Filipino accent, do you want a bottle of water? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Isn't it? But yeah, it's uh, it's exhausting. It takes up like a big space of my energy. Yeah. When talking to that accent, of course you can do it, but not for the whole day. Yeah. So I was telling my coworkers before, like, uh, don't speak to me in English at five after five p.m. Because <laughs> my brain is not there anymore. I, <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Um. Yeah. I. It. It helps. Just you know, talking to people. But in London, because you have lots of accents, I think the people here as well. Mm. Um. They're already used to the accent yes. of yeah. uh, lots of different people. Mm. Yeah, so uh, at first, that's one of my um, fears. Yes. Uh, when I was back home, what if they won't understand my um, neutral accent, mm. like my Filipino accent? Mm-mm. And also, like what you said earlier, it stuck with me as well, that I feel more pressured when speaking to someone like um, a British or an American because they their first language is English. Yes, obviously. Yeah. But when um, I'm speaking to other people whose second language is English, yeah. I'm I'm feeling more at ease. Yes, it's easier. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Plus I think there's a thing with Filipinos as well. We are a bit perfectionist with our English. Yeah. yeah. I'm not even sure but uh, I that's how I felt. I'm not sure if it's uh, what the majority of Filipinos feel. Mm. Yeah. Like I feel like in here I can speak like uh, grammatically wrong sentences and I'm still understood yeah. and no one's judging me. Yeah. But mm-hmm. back home, oh my God, you need to be perfect. Mm. Okay. Yeah. I think it's worse even back home rather yeah, than it's true, here. it's true. Because yeah. for me, ever since I've been here for 27 years, I never ever changed my accent. Mm. But there's like, you know, you get used to cert- hearing certain words or phrases yeah. that you then adapt. Mm. But because a lot of people nowadays, um, some of my friends or most of my friends say to me like, sometimes we can hear your Filipino accent and sometimes there's like an English <laughs> accent. So you're like in between. Because yeah. before people say, when I first came in this country, I was like learning how to speak English in like a lot of gangster movies. Okay. So it's like black gangster movies and yeah. people think I'm Jamaican. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Because um, I used to work in a hotel and then apparently in, in Jamaica, there's a lot of like Chinese Jamaican. Okay. And because um, I look like yeah, I a bit Chinese <laughs> and then I speak kind of like <laughs> raggedy. Yeah. And then they, they thought I was like, and I was hanging out with a lot of like okay. uh, black guys before black people in where I used to work. Okay. So they all, all immediately thought I was like that. Mm. But yeah, I never ever tried to change my accent. Um, I never been conscious before. I know a lot of people, like you said, they're very conscious of how they speak and stuff like that. For me, I always have it on my mind that if as long as they understand me, yeah. I can get my point across. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, it doesn't matter if I my P's are because you know Filipinos. P's and F. Oh. P's and B's. F and V and B. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because in the Filipino alphabet. We don't have B, uh, V and F. Okay. Yeah. yeah. We don't have that. It's just uh, we adopted it from the English. Uh, so the F, we always pronounce it as P. Yeah. But for example, Philippine. Yeah. Exactly. That's, yeah. a, that's a bit ironic, isn't yeah. it? That we don't have the letter F in our basic or natural language. Yeah, but in we, our vocabulary. We're, but we're called but Filipinos. We're called Filipinos. Yeah. <laughs> but in your. Um, in your um, mother tongue, yeah. how do you say Philippine? Pinoy, Filipino, P, Filipino, Filipino. Yes. yes. Instead of Filipino. Filipino. Yeah. yeah. So, for example, I can say instead of Paul, the name Paul, I say Fall. <laughs> <laughs> Paul. Hi, Paul. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Paul. Be careful. You fall in the swimming pool. <laughs> <laughs> so exactly. That's a tongue twister <laughs> for us already. Isn't it? <laughs> It's a joke. It's a joke. You, you, it's a private joke for you. Yeah, yeah, but it's like some of the people because they can't pronounce oh. their P, oh. like their Fs and Vs. Mm-hmm. That's how they sound like. Okay. You know, yeah. pip floor instead of fifth floor. <laughs> they say, "Oh, go to the pip floor." To the pip 
Are you hungry? <laughs> Let's grab some food. Sorry. Yeah, food. <laughs> oh, yes, okay. Oh, Sorry, that, yeah. That's true. The, the funny thing is, like, before when I was uh, new here, and then I was telling my um, English friends, my neighbors, oh, I said, oh, I went to the party. Like, oh, no. Yeah, and, then like, and then they start laughing, like, party. <laughs> Yeah, it's a party. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, that's the Filipino accent. Okay. But do you think like people sometimes judge you on your accent and initially straight away tell like how your status is? I feel more judged by French people who are used yeah. to talk, to yeah. speak in English than, okay. than judged by English people. Yeah. You know, like, uh, who's the better English yeah. speaker? Yeah. You know, like, how oh, you speak like that, really? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, really? That's what she was just saying, like, they're more harsher critic yes. in, yeah. back home yeah. when you speak and then you, you misplace your grammar yeah. or you, you have wrong grammar rather yes. than, like, people that live here. I think for here, they either say, oh, you know, you have a nice English. Sometimes I don't know if that's a compliment or <laughs> some, sometimes it pisses me off when they say that. Yeah. Like, your English oh, you is good. such, such, such a good English. Yeah. But I think like your effort for trying is more appreciated yes. rather than your mistakes. Just imagine someone like, like me, for example, speaking uh, Filipino. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, you're just like, wow, thank you for that. That's mm -hmm. true. I yeah. think uh, I can understand the, yeah. the main thing, the main um, of your... The, main, well, the simple word. Yeah, thank yeah. you. Uh, but when, you, when it comes to, to, to people like your, from your, your own country, it's like, uh, I can speak better yeah, than you, yeah. or I, I don't yeah. know. Our own people are more judgmental. Yes, it yeah. freezes me, you yeah. know, like... Uh, oh, it's I, like immediately people will either say, oh, you're, you're uneducated, or, mm. you know, you didn't finish school, or something yeah. like that. Yeah. Do you think that's the case? Yeah, in France too. Yeah. Yeah. Which is a bit sad, yeah. really. Yeah. It's sad as well. Yeah. Um, people in the Philippines, if they can hear that you have an American accent or a British accent, they would respect you more. Mm. Yeah, I think that's the that's the thing. And also online, if you write it uh, grammatically wrong, um, yeah. English but online, they yeah. are gonna like. Fry you to pieces. Yes, it's wild. Online so is wild. Yeah. yeah, because you can hide yourself. So, yeah. Even but I think there's a lot of grammar police out there. That's true. Yeah. You know? <laughs> oh, you didn't say yeah. this right. You know what I mean? You're arrested. Yeah. People here, the um, native speakers, doesn't even, um, what's this? Their grammar are not proper as well. Mm. Isn't it? Yeah. yeah. They it say, happens. <laughs> they say, uh, you was. You was. You was going there? Yeah. Something like that. I was like, okay. Yeah. You say you was. I've learned English like uh, formally at school, so that's why yeah. uh, my English is a bit more for formal than yeah. them. So yeah, that's one of the things as well that mm. uh, made uh, integrating to the mm. uh, English culture yeah. a bit more, uh, a bit harder. Yeah, sure. Because their English is like more of the slang versions. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mine is the formal one. Yeah. So when I said uh, three consecutive days, oh yeah, three days in a row. Oh okay, I, like, I can say three it days in, in a, a row. I can say it in a more uh, like a simpler way. Yes, yeah. that they could understand. Yeah. Because I use uh, because yeah, like like what I said, I've learned English in school. Yes, so I use the uh, formal words. Yeah. the long words and li you know like the li the literal. Traduction, yes. you know, word by word, mm -hmm. it's the worst thing to do. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, I can understand it. But do you think sometimes it can make you feel out of place? Like, for example, being like a tourist here or, you know, when you speak French or when you speak Tagalog and then you feel like, you know, out of place a little bit when it comes to like speaking your, you know, your own self? A bit. Uh, again, I don't like when I when when people notice I'm I'm French or I'm not from here. But it's easy to notice. Mm. But uh, I want to belong. I want yeah. to belong. So I want to. I want when people see me in the streets or uh, see me watch me talk to other people. I want them to to maybe think, oh, she's from here, or oh, she's a Londoner. Probably she is. <laughs> she's yeah. not a tourist. Like yesterday when I was walking through the streets. I was like, 
uh, what do people think about me when they just see me like uh, for a second uh, maybe she's a tourist or no yeah. she's a Londoner mm -hmm. so yeah but we, we shouldn't care about people's opinion mm -hmm. of course we mm -hmm. shouldn't but we sh we, we we are we care yeah. actually yeah, you do it subconsciously yeah, yeah if we are honest we we care about it so basically do um, do British things without or without saying that you're British like if you want to be you know like you say you want to belong mm. what are the things that you do without saying like okay I'm British I'm here I'm like part of the culture uh, or a part of the community like doing stuff like I'm I'm knowing what I'm doing yeah you know uh, for me it's like when um I'm for example in the tube and yeah. then you're in the escalator and a lot of, mostly a lot of tourists are like <laughs> standing on the right side instead of like standing on yes, the left. Yes, I do that. Oh yeah. <laughs> so yeah. so it's like one thing that you know that like they're from here is like they they follow the, stand. the yeah, they stand yeah. on the uh, right side yeah. instead of the left. Yeah. Things oh, like that. Yeah. Uh no no, I stand on the left now. And you have to stand on the left. Right. Uh, yeah. Because no, you stand on, on the right, right side. No, well, I stand on the right. Yeah. yeah. Because you I walk noticed. On the left. Yeah. yeah. I noticed that uh, people do that, so I just do the same. Exactly. Like, yeah. They're doing it. <laughs> I do it. Yeah. And, uh, and yeah. Yeah. One thing I can recommend is uh, saying sorry a lot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do. Uh, yeah. I say sorry. That's a, lot. a British thing, I think. Yeah. 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 Just yeah. to be polite, yeah. I guess. I yeah. don't know. I think I think they're just being sorry for the things that they did to other countries <laughs> yeah. all those years. Yeah. You know, that's why it's embedded with them. You like, should be oh, sorry. Sorry. Sorry yeah. I invaded your country <laughs> back in the days. <laughs> Oops, sorry. Sorry I'm eating your <laughs> sorry, we pastries. Killed, we killed John of Arc. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, oops, sorry. Uh, they say sorry a lot. That's yeah. one of the things I've noticed. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. I think, yeah, pardon. It's like, pardon? Pardon? Pardon. Me? pardon. Yeah. Oh, sometimes yeah. it's not even sincere anymore. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. It's just an expression for them. So. Yeah, also, uh, like, also when they say, how are you? Like, yeah, oh, you're yeah. right, mate. You're right. Mm. You're right. I you're right. You're every right. every time. Yeah. Like, uh, they don't uh, actually ex I'm expect you to you? respond. Yes. <laughs> they don't expect you to respond. It's just yeah, like... No, that's, I think it's nice. So I'm yeah. like, right? Uh, what about you? <laughs> Did you have a good day? <laughs> mm, they're Who not expecting an answer. It's just oh. their way of saying hello. hello How are, are you? you? Yeah. Yeah. It's like in Philippines, when you see your friend or you see your some, someone, the pass why, you, you, like, you just go like this. Yeah. Yeah. It's the eyebrow. But in them, it's like, all right, mate. And then they just walk along. It's like, they don't yeah. really care about if you, what your day is <laughs> yeah, going. It's I guess just an acknowledgement in a way. Yeah. Like acknowledgement. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're right, mate. What else do you notice? Like, do you have any certain stuff that you notice about like British people? Well, I can notice when there are tourists and there are not because, uh, you know, like when they are like that, looking for looking things. Looking for this, uh, reading this. And side. I do that, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you know, but yeah. I'm like uh, with a big smile, like. <laughs> so, uh, first time here, right? No, third. <laughs> no, that's me. <laughs> you know, I think that. But yeah. You mentioned you love the city. <laughs> it's one of your dreams to. Um, to be in here, to yeah. stay in here. And also a lot of Filipinos, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. apart from America and Canada. By the way, this is our resident dog, Scotty. If you see <laughs> him Scotty, in the camera, say hi. Say he hi. says hi with his tail. Yeah. Yeah. Hi with your tail. He's wagging his tail. Yeah, he's our resident dog. <laughs> yeah, uh, dream city is London. Yeah, so what do you think Filipinos. about like, um, why do you think a lot of people are dreaming to go in this city? I mean, there's loads of cities, obviously. True. And, but this is like one of the most people are always say, oh, I want to go to London. I wanna... Why do you think that is in, to you? Why, why is it to you as well? Um, for me, if you look back on the history side of London, uh, even though it was like, you know, colonialist uh, country, etc., uh, it was for many years the center of the world, as yeah. they used to say. Okay. True. But because... Uh, you know, like, as, I, as we said before, the, the cultures meeting in that, in that city, it's huge. Yeah, the so melting huge. pot. Yeah, the melting pot. Yeah. I think that's why. I think that's why. And I think it's because you have so many 
arts, cultures, mm -hmm. uh, museums, uh, gigs, um, events. It's so easy to to be entertained here yeah, and to, 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 to find people yeah. like you. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> I think plus jobs as well. There's a lot of like opportunities here. Yeah, yeah of things course. are like you know, like you said, apart from things to do, it's a very exciting city. Mm. You know, mm. a lot of things to learn. Mm. It opens your eyes. I think that's mm -hmm. one of the things that kind of stuck with me being here. It, yeah. I yeah. become more open when it comes to like religion. Um, yeah, the way you, it's very liberating because in Philippines it's a bit. I'm not say, saying close-minded, but stuff. But there's a, a lot of limits. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sometimes. because because maybe they are not used to yeah to meet new 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 people from new places, That's new true. new cultures, yeah. different yeah. religions. Plus, yeah, plus mm -hmm. like ex experience like different stuff. You know, mm -hmm. it's very things that they know already from they were young. It's instilled by them, and mm -hmm. it's hard for them to kind of like break break free mm -hmm. when it comes to that. So. Yeah. For me, being in London, it opened my eyes with a lot of things that um, I experienced yeah. and I'm happy that I did, you know. Nice. Cool. Yeah, that's what I uh, told my fiancé as well. Yeah. I'm, I'm still grateful I made this decision. Yeah. It's one of the turning points in my life. Cool. Yeah, that I've lived, uh, I chose to live in here. Yeah, so I'm loving it. <laughs> nice. Nice. So, so that was a really good experience as well. And yeah. I'm planning to stay here longer than expected. Yeah. <laughs> let's see, let's see. Uh, there That's could good. be Hopefully other opportunities. Longer, yeah. yeah, but so far, I'm really liking the, yeah. uh, the experience. When you say, like, hopefully you stay here, what's, can I ask you, like, what's your current situation yeah, sure. when it comes to that? Okay, so I've been here almost three years now. Mm -hmm. And on my fourth year, I'm planning to uh, apply for indefinite leave to remain. Okay. It's the uh, first route or path when you want to get your British citizenship. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's my short slash long term goal okay. for now yeah. to get the British passport. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah, I'm doing good actually. So yeah. <laughs> I don't have any plans of moving yeah. as far as uh, let's say maybe five ten years from now. Yeah. So yeah. And I'm planning to, when we get married this year, my fiancé, uh, for him to uh, come in here as well. That's nice. the plan. Cool. Yeah. Is he <laughs> Filipino? He's, yeah, he is yeah. Filipino. He's he is back Filipino. home in the Philippines. Back. Yeah. yeah. And for you, it's like, obviously, you know about Brexit, right? Yeah. yeah. So before, you can just go to, to, the, <laughs> to, to UK with no problem and stuff mm. like that. How mm. did that affect, um, like the relations between France and UK and how is it like now for people, much for example, in French to, the other Europeans. to go here? Yeah, yeah, it's much more complicated. Yeah, it is. Do you know about the requirements now, what, what people need to do? Actually, I don't know per se, but I know it's more complicated, like in uh, uh, about the papers, about the, the waiting and... And yeah, but I don't think it's impossible mm -hmm. because everyone who keep telling me like, oh, you know, but with Brexit, it's so much more complicated. But mm -hmm. those people actually do not know mm -hmm. in yeah. particular yeah. how much it's complicated. So I, I think you just have to, to be passion, patient mm -hmm. and uh, to do the right things. I guess you have to, if you want to live on the territory, English territory, you have to, be, uh, to get... Um, you know, like a paper for, from your future employer mm -hmm. to like uh, uh, stipulates that you are going to work at his place or her place. Yeah. A sponsorship. Like a pro yeah, like yeah. A, it's like a promise, mm -hmm. you know. And I think it's that you need that, but I guess you need... Yeah, if there's every. a will, there's a way, that's yeah. what they say, isn't mm -hmm. it? Yeah. So if you really like it, you have to pursue it. Yeah. That's that's you only uh, live once. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. That's good. Mm. And let's have some difference between countries. Like, what's the, what do you see the main difference when, when you're here, like, between UK and France? Like, major difference that you see? Is there any? Aside from the people. <laughs> Aside from the people? Yeah. The food, maybe. 
But do you say there's a lot more options in here? Yeah, like culture-wise. I I feel that. Okay. I feel that there is there are more options. Mm -hmm. Uh yeah, more choices, more more food, more culture. Uh who are exp uh, exposed. Mm -hmm. uh, the, apart from the food, apart from the people, you know, like either if they are polite or not. Um, if we are honest, France and England, it's quite the same yeah. culture. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's not like Philippines yeah. and, and England. Yeah. But I always feel felt like England is a bit like my own culture, uh -huh. but in a better way. Uh -huh. Is it? Yeah, obviously. Yeah. That's what I'm saying <laughs> since an hour. <laughs> it's, uh, it's so much yeah. better. Yeah, it's much but, better. Uh, but yeah. You like it better. Yeah, I like it better. I like okay. it better. Yeah. But yeah, but there are no big differences, mm -hmm. you know. That's not not like really. uh, not like your two countries, yeah. uh, like so, England. So for you, moving here won't be like a hard transition no, at all. No, no, it's no, like no. very no kind of seamless because most of the time the things that you do there mm. you can do here. Yeah, you know. Mm -mm. Okay. Yes, you've been here thrice. Already, yeah, and so. I have I have some friends who yeah. live here too. French people. There's so many French people here. Oh yeah. Restaurant French, you know, mm. I mean, bakery. We are everywhere. everywhere. <laughs> They're like everywhere. Yeah, but we share a common history, you know, like yeah. English people, French people. Yeah. We, we've been at war uh, like for many years, yeah. you know, like we, They've are, been around we are like cousins, <laughs> but cousins yeah, yeah, yeah. hate each other. That's like, a yeah. good, good no. analogy. You're yeah. like cousins. I am the center of the world. No, I am the center <laughs> of the world. Okay, right. let's, do, let's do that together. Okay. <laughs> Uh, and yeah, that's a little Napoleon talking to you. Yeah. Right now, like. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, yeah, but yeah, we we quite the same actually, but not in every way. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So now we're nearly at the end of the podcast, mm -hmm. but so far, how are you liking the podcast? How yeah, are you? That was it. <laughs> that was cool. Can we get some? That was a nice feedback. podcast. Uh, <laughs> I feel like it's interesting for for your content to yeah. to yeah maybe welcome different nationalities yeah, yeah. Sure, because yeah, uh, yeah, stuff, yeah. because I, I don't feel like uh, uh, my nationality is the most inter interesting nationality to in, to invite to invite on mm -hmm. your on your on your podcast because as I said it's not that different yeah. The, yeah. than the the English culture the French culture one. So, but yeah, uh, uh, I'm looking forward uh, the new podcast to come yeah. and new guests, new guests to come. Yeah. I'm sorry for the bad accent. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> no <that's fine. laughs> you understood yeah. it yeah. very well, I thank can you. see. <laughs> but yeah, that was a good experience and thank you for that. Nice. Yeah, really. Yeah, because our purpose with this podcast is like showing other, especially people from Philippines and mm -hmm. other uh, Filipinos all over the world on what life is in the UK for Filipinos and how we merge to different cultures. So we will invite a lot of different people from yeah, different not walks just of life. Filipinos. Yeah. yeah. So if you like that content, like I say, please <laughs> <laughs> please share and subscribe and yeah, comment. Cool. And for the last few questions, mm -hmm. they're a bit light, fun. Mm -hmm. So hopefully oh. you can answer some of them. And do you want to start? Yeah, uh, what are your top five places you want to recommend? Places? In London. In London? Yeah. Yes. And what pub do you like? Aces Place. <laughs> Aces Place no. number one. No, no, no. Um, Aces Place, Sun and Soul. I would say Soho. Yeah. Oh, Soho, yeah. Yeah. I love so uh, Soho. I love Soho. Uh, I love... Um, so Not Soho is number two. So no. <laughs> oh, no, no. So number two, no. I love Soho. I love, uh, what could I say? Uh, Notting Hill. Oh, Quite yeah. Quite nice. Um, I'm, I'm just a girl standing in front of a boy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> asking him to love her. <laughs> yeah, I'm Notting Hill. Uh, I like uh, the, uh, the market's place, but... Yeah. I've been to Borough Market with you. Ooh, yeah, it's a nice spot. Really nice. Spot. Really yeah. nice. But Borough Market is great to experience the local uh, life, daily life here yes. in Southeast. Mm -hmm. uh, and I would say, mm -hmm. uh, they are like quite touristic places, yes. but 
Covent Garden is great yes. to party. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, I think that's all for me. But there, if I have to pick, you know, yeah. like places. Those are your top yeah. places that you recommend. Yeah. That's the Beatles store. Yeah. Well, <laughs> it's on Better in Abbey Baker Wood. Street. Have you been to Abbey? Uh, yes, I've been. I've been like it was in. Uh, 2013. Have you taken the, uh, the pedestrian? I have, I have the picture. <laughs> the picture. Ah, yes. I was like uh, 17 or 18 at that time. It was 10 years ago. Oh, God. Wow. I took that picture as well. Yeah. I have to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> the crossing, crossing the pedestrian. It's a thing to do. Right. Really. So aside from, you know, uh, because you're an actress, you also have... Uh, I would assume you like movies. Yeah, so I love movies. What are your top five movies? Okay, so I'm kind of a geek person. My favorite of all, it's uh, the Two Towers of uh, Lord of the Rings. Mm, okay. Okay, so that's my favorite one. That one. So all the, the trilogy, I loved it. Uh, I love The Godfather. Okay. Oh, yeah. Classic. The second one, the best. Classic one. Yep. Uh, I love Once Upon a Time in the West. Mm, haven't seen that one, but... Really good. <laughs> really, really good. A classic one. It's like a, a Western, oh. you know. Uh, nice. And would, I would say... I love musicals. I love... Mm. Um, what's the name in English? Uh, uh, you know... I'm singing in the rain. Okay. Singing okay. in the rain? Yeah. That's the, that's the title? In the rain. Okay. I love that <laughs> movie. Uh, because I have to think quickly, but maybe I'm, I'm forgetting, you know, other great movies. But yeah, gangsters movies, musicals, uh, western movies, and above all, The Lord of the Rings. Okay. Yeah. Nice. The yeah. Rings is a nice choice, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, how, so, since you mentioned Lord of the Rings, uh, and it's a bit geeky, isn't it? Yeah. So, how about... Harry Potter. I love Harry, Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Yeah. Harry Potter. <laughs> Harry. Yeah, yeah. Like Snape. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's one of the things I noticed as well. They don't, uh, English people don't pronounce H. Mm. Harry. 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 Okay. So if you wanted to sound a bit more local. Okay. Harry Potter. Have you been there? Harry Potter. Yeah. So I, I actually I've been to the studios. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 10 years ago, but that was so fun. <laughs> With my big sister, it was really cool. How uh, did you get there? Oh, you you have to buy tickets and then a bus uh, pick you. Uh, I thought you went to the so platform cool. three and it happened. Yeah, no, <laughs> I tried, <laughs> but there was a wall. Yeah. yeah, and my head. Yeah, against the wall. So no, no, I, I couldn't. But yeah, the studios were great, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm a big fan. Actually, I'm. Uh, I've. I watched. I've watched the movies like oh, I don't know them. twenty times, but oh I read the only the the two first books. The books. Yes, I'm ashamed of it. Don't judge <laughs> me. But uh, last Christmas, uh, I gave you my heart. heart. No, no. Last Christmas, <laughs> uh, uh, my mother gave me the Prison of Azkaban. Prisoner of Ak Prisoner, Azkaban. Yeah. Prisoner of Azkaban. Uh, and uh, I intend to, to to read it. So yeah, Harry Potter. Uh, Harry Potter. So we've been to, uh, we've discussed the movies. How about favorite actors or actresses that you look forward to, yeah. that you emulate maybe? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Gary Oldman. He plays oh. Sirius Black in the yes. movies. Yes. But Dead Horses, he's doing that now, right? Gary Oldman? Gary Oldman, yeah, yeah I love doing, him. He's got a new series called Dead Horses. Okay. On, yeah, Apple, yeah, it's okay, good, cool. Yeah. Okay, I must check that. Gary, Gary Oldman, and... Al Pacino. Oh, uh, yes. Old-time uh, favorite, classic. Yeah, De Niro. And uh, Raging uh, Bull, Taxi. Yeah, Jimmy, yeah obviously. <laughs> uh, I love, I love, I love uh, Emma Thompson. I oh, love that yeah, woman. Yeah, I love yeah. that woman. I love Mary Streep. Oh, of course. But I don't have any time to talk about all my favorite <laughs> actors and actresses. We only won five, don't worry. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I think that's it. Yeah. yeah. Nice. That's, <laughs> what else do we have? I think that's it, right? So yeah. we're really thankful that you're, yeah. you've... Uh, that was cool. Invite, yeah. uh, no, we're, we're the ones who invited you, that you are here with us today to do this podcast. Thank you, you for took that. Your, uh, you took half of your day already. So. No, it's okay. I, uh, I hope you enjoyed our Yeah, session. I really enjoyed it. Really? That yeah. Was, yeah. Is there anything that you want to say for people that are watching or like you have any um, 
upcoming projects or where can they oh. see you or where can they oh. find where can they find you online uh, it's complicated <laughs> to find me but if you want to check my my work you can just type kino con C A E N, we'll and it's the twelfth edition. It was last year, and you have the whole uh, movie projects, not just for uh, my projects, but uh, you can see me uh, as a vampire mm -hmm. in it. Uh, yeah. You can see me in a romantic uh, thing too, yeah. uh, but you can just check uh, all the the other uh, participants' yeah, uh, can, projects. Yeah, yeah projects. We can put a link. Yeah, yeah, definitely. We'll yeah, maybe. Pop that on. Ah, I think they we will, will be... put it somewhere here, the link, so you guys can check okay. it out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thank you so much, Laura. Thank it you, guys. Really nice meeting you. Thank you, guys. <laughs> yeah. So this is the Sun and Soul podcast. Thank you so much, and hopefully you can like, share, and subscribe. And we out. Yep. Peace. Bye. Peace. There we go. How long was that? Oh, I didn't that even. That was know. so cool to do.